Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, faced a setback in YouGov's recent survey despite making headline appearances on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and The Late Late Show with James Corden. YouGov, which was co-founded by the UK's 54-year-old Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi in 2000, asked respondents from more than 42,000 people across 38 countries and territories who they would nominate to the world's most admired list. People in Colombia, Egypt, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Mexico, Pakistan, the Philippines and South Africa were among those questioned by YouGov. Queen Elizabeth II, 95, was the only member of the British royal family to make the coveted list. Her Majesty, who took a step away from her royal duties after a health scare in October, finished in third place. Only former First Lady Michelle Obama, 57, and American actress Angelina Jolie, 46, managed to finish ahead of the British monarch in the survey. Other women who made the list included climate change activist Greta Thunberg, 18, and Pakistani human rights campaigner Malala Yousafzai, 24. The Queen's appearance on YouGov's list also reflects the pollster's findings on popular support for members of the firm inside the United Kingdom. YouGov put support for Queen Elizabeth at 72. Prince Philip, who passed away in April aged 99, finished in joint second with Prince William, 39, on 62%. The Duke of Sussex lags further down the list in 10th position, on just 33%, but the Duchess of Sussex polls even lower on just 28%, leaving her ahead of only Prince Andrew, 61, on 13%. YouGov's most admired ranking put ex-president Barack Obama, 60, at the top of the male list for the second year in a row. However, the 44th president was joined by both of his successes in the 20-man strong table. Donald Trump, 75, finished in 13th place and Joe Biden, 79, ended up further down the list in 20th. Despite recording an approval rating worse than ex-vice president Dick Cheney, 80, Biden's 2020 running mate Kamala Harris, 57, fared slightly better than her boss and Mr. Trump with an 11th place finish on the women's list.